Well, love them or hate them, we have some peeps for you. We do. <laughs> um, so we had talked last week about how you can order for thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we already some saved you a lot of money. Customized peeps. Yes, yeah, so we're going to save you some money today. <laughs> so this is a really easy way to do the project um, with your family. So the things you want to start off with first, you're going to mm -hmm. need some different peeps. They do have the kind of duck kind, and then mm -hmm. they also have the little bunny kind. I think the bunny yes. kind might work a little better, but we're going to give it a shot. You forgot to get the traditional yellow peep. Oh. oh. oh you, I know, I, you did the rabbit Mom instead. fail. It's yeah. fine. No. no, you did a great <laughs> job. <laughs> and then we also have some toppings. So I did pick a few different of the sprinkles, but I also picked walnuts. I'm a nut person. Mm -hmm. I like sweet, but I think sometimes you need to kind of tone it down. So we have some candy melts. Important distinction is you can't just buy chocolate chips. You can't just buy other melting chocolates. You have to use candy melts. They are the only ones that are hardened. So chocolate chips, if you melt them, don't always harden again. That is a problem. Can't mm -hmm. have that. So yeah. what we're going to do, just going to have a little bit of fun here for the next few minutes. Phoenix and I are going to kind of we're decorate our pick, own peeps. Pick our peeps. Yeah. What are you, what are you leaning toward? I'm, I'm going to go with the pink peep. And nice. I'm going to balance out the colors here with the white. I will say oh. this, there's some talk in the newsroom about these are truly a love it or hate it yes. type of treat. It's a very polarizing topic. But I also feel that these are, like you, you like have to get the peep and you have to put it yeah. in the Easter basket. I mean, are you want us to fully dip? Are we? That's a great question. Let's talk so. about that. When you're using sprinkles and things, especially with melting chocolate, you never want to dip. You always want to mm -hmm. sprinkle because um, once you get the melting chocolate in the mix, you're never going to get it out. So for instance, I mean, if you want to just, you can hold it over that bowl mm -hmm. or you can put it right here, whatever you prefer to do, but you always want to sprinkle because it's, it's a lot to work with if you yeah. get a little dip of melting chocolate in there. And then you can just set it wherever you want. Okay. Um, obviously, the people on our news team are going to get the benefit of eating these peeps later. Those of them yes. that will eat the peeps, some of them are anti-peeps. I feel that when you put the melt, the melt on it, I feel like maybe it would change up the taste a little bit. Yeah. So I feel like maybe that's a deciding factor. I will say that these are fresh out of the package and so they're still pretty squishy. They're not hard yet. Um, but I've also learned that once they harden, you can use them as hockey pucks. Oh, as great. Well. Oh, that's such a wonderful use. Yeah. I would imagine <laughs> teething maybe is a good yeah, option. Yeah, you can also use them as teething. I mean, if there's you have lots young of children at home. Lots of uh, other options you can do once, once they harden. Have you ever seen those like funny videos where People say that's the only, like they'll use them outdoors and they throw them around, they use them as balls. I haven't, but um, I'm honestly not surprised yeah, because it's, it's just more of a joke. I peeps mean, aren't you know. for everyone. We yeah. recognize not everyone is, a, is interested in this particular candy. What is your favorite Easter candy? What do you uh, lean toward? Uh, you were reading my mind because I was going to ask you the same question. For me, it's a mimosa. And that, <laughs> is, that is my favorite treat. I, every Sunday, you know, you'd go to church, you'd come back, you'd have the mimosa. It's always been my just Easter brunch. That's what I go for. <laughs> Dang, your church is exciting. No, no. After, when you go home, you have that family brunch, you do all that. I would, I just would always make the mimosas. But um, I, I don't really, can't really say of like a favorite. I mean, obviously you get the chocolate bunny and everything yeah. else. It's a, one of my favorite holidays because I feel like it's a low key holiday where people don't get too animated about it. You, you wake up, like you have Easter bags. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, oh, I almost broke the rule and I almost Ooh. dipped it in there. Uh, so that, that's it. That's my favorite thing about it. But, you know, if you are a Christian or a Catholic, uh, obviously I, we, I, you know, Easter has a bigger meaning to it than just yeah. about a bunny. Um, so that's great. Um, I, you know, I, I like it. I'm definitely excited to fill up the Easter basket this year. I think there's so many handcrafts. There's so many local handmade items that mm -hmm. you can pick to fill up the basket. So my goal is I'm going to try to shop local as best I can and not go for commercialized products and gifts if I can. It's kind of interesting because of the state of the economy where, you know, mm -hmm. we've experienced huge amounts of inflation and things mm -hmm. like that. It's actually more cost effective to shop mm -hmm. local than maybe in years past. Um, people have learned how to just kind of create the most awesome things mm -hmm. out of steel. And now you can get something that's really, really cool and handcrafted for mm -hmm. not as much as you would spend going to some of the, you know, main stores out I, there. So. I think it's a great, uh, you know, little craft you can do uh, with the kiddos. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, they just need to stay busy with whether it's coloring mm -hmm. eggs or after they do the Easter egg hunt. This is this would be something fun yeah. that we can all, you can sit around, you could talk and, Mm -hmm. you know, hopefully eat a peep. I guess we need to try one of them here pretty we soon. Should. 
And I would say this is also a really good alternative to coloring eggs because okay. when you are coloring eggs, as you know, there's a lot of liquids oh. that stain things. Oh, yes. And so my two-year-old. So, should I try your, oh, yeah, while you're talking? Yeah, give it a shot. My two-year-old is probably not going to be coloring mm. eggs this year. He is a fan of throwing things. Mm. So we're just not going to do that. In case there's anyone else out there who's a fan of walnuts, I'm going to add some more to this one. What I do we like think? It, does it help tone it down? It does um, balance out the peat beauty. Yeah. Well, because walnuts are a very dry nut, that's why I chose them. You can choose whatever you want, but mm -hmm. I picked walnuts because they're a dry nut. So when you have a lot of sweetness from the marshmallow and mm -hmm. you've got some from the uh, candy melts here, sometimes it'll help just tone it yeah, down. Uh, if you don't like peeps, I'm going to say you, you, don't, you do need to try that because I feel like it yeah. adds just like a different texture to it. it I mean, does. obviously we've ate them. They're still kind of wet. They haven't dr yeah, you know. dried yet. But. <laughs> Biden also got a little bit over here, but we're all <laughs> friends at this point, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> right. But I, I, I like it. I like the idea. I, yeah. I, I will eat peeps, and I'll, I'll eat peeps out of the package, but I just, obviously, I think everyone else throws them in the trash, you know, as soon as they get hard. That's fair. Really should. You know what would make my Easter day would be if any of you wanted to try this project and then send your pictures to mm. our Facebook page. Because yes. I would love to see, I think, you know, honestly, you could put these on a stick. Mm hmm you could easily put these on a stick candy, the mm. whole thing. You have like a really cool, sprinkly, like glitter peep. Um, you could even make arrangements. I've seen people take like a container, put foam in it, mm -hmm. put all the little things like peeps on a stick, and then you just surround it with like Easter grass and little eggs. Like I could see some really cool things coming out of this. I, I would love, love to that. see what you guys come up with. Yeah, we definitely need to hear more for you guys at home. And I'd love to see what people yeah. come up with. Even like your Easter baskets, share that with us. Yeah. You know, I've always wanted, maybe we can play the, you know, the Jimmy Kimmel game on Halloween where they eat all of the candy. Oh, We should do no. it. It's like, oh, um, the thing is. Oh, <laughs> Mom and Dad got hungry last night. So. Yeah, it's not, it's definitely not a funny game, but sometimes no. it does make me laugh, you know. But to answer the earlier question, because I definitely got off track, mm -hmm. unpopular opinion, mm -hmm. the black jelly beans. I mm. love the black jelly beans. Why well, I like black licorice. Oh, hey. All right. So, Not yeah. many people do. That's like, are you left-handed or right-handed? Mm. Do you like back black jelly beans or no? I, I am Minorities. such an old spirit that even that uh, blackjack bubble gum, I still oh, like it. Which it it's black, it's pretty much like black licorice bubble gum. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they mostly ate it in the early 1900s, but... You know, mm, that's probably delightful. <laughs> probably still well, in great shape. Well, that's when it was shape. popular. It was popular, but, you know, and then the 50s and all that. But it was pretty yeah. good. I liked it. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah. Well, this is super fun. Stay with us. We have more coming up after the break, including a cute story that I think probably a lot of you can relate to. We'll be right back.